All right, today we're going to show you our reservoir top-off system. When it gets hot and the plants start drinking a lot of water, it gets to be tiresome to fill it up once or sometimes twice a day with buckets. So what we have here is a 35-gallon drum on a stand that gives it above the reservoirs. It's gravity-fed inside. You can tell, but it's filled with water, pH balanced. And then I put a bulkhead half inch outlet here and a little valve here so I can shut it off for 24 hours after filling it up so that I let it dechlorinate. Then I have it piped here directly into the wall into the greenhouse. And we'll go inside and show you what happens from there. Alright, inside the greenhouse here. This is the pipe down here coming from the wall from the outside. And there's the Brussels sprouts. It has an end right here and then tubing into the side of the reservoir. Let's see if I can get the lid off with one hand here. And we inside here we have a float valve. And it's set up if it gets down to the level of the top of the pump it'll start releasing water. There. That way it stays topped off and I don't have to worry about it every single day. I just come in and check it or check the level of the um, top off reservoir and make sure it has uh, enough water in it. Although once that is down all the way that means about 30 gallons has pumped into here and by then your PPMs will be so low it's better off just to change out your whole reservoir. I do have it piped I don't know if I can see it here behind here, but I have a T there and a cap, so I can take it in and I can go ahead and pipe into the other two reservoirs down the road. I don't know if I'm going to do that because this one right here, because of the size of the plants, it drinks a lot. I might do a separate drum just for those two reservoirs. These zucchinis suck up a lot of water and nutrients, so. I usually can go through that in a hot summer day. I can go through that in a couple, three, maybe four days, and it's gone. Or have a hose pop off and a couple of leaks and it can go through in a day. So that's it for the uh, reservoir top off. It's real simple. If you want to, you can do a bucket inside your, next to your reservoir. You just gotta make it sure it's higher than your reservoir. Put a float valve in and uh, attach it to your secondary drum.